Hey folks, my name is Ed Trevers. My pronouns are he, him, and his. I'm an Anglican priest serving in the beautiful parish of St. Margaret of Scotland that sits on the ancestral and on the unceded territory of the Mi'kmaq people. Gwe. Today, here at St. Margaret of Scotland, the parish of St. Margaret of Scotland, we celebrated the feast day of St. Margaret of Scotland. We celebrated today a day of remembrance where we, where we hold up the story of St. Margaret of Scotland, and, and we look for the things in her life that can lead us into a deeper, more bountiful relationship with God through Jesus Christ. Today, I want to share with you the collect, so let's pray. O oh God, you gave to your servant Margaret such faithfulness as Queen of Scotland that she cared for the poor and relieved the needs of those who lay in prison. Grant us a like devotion, whatever the service to which you call us, that we may be agents of your justice and true servants of your mercy. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let me give you a real quick introduction to who St. Margaret of Scotland was. She was an English princess who married a Scottish king. Malcolm. And together, throughout their marriage, they had many children. Four of her sons would go on to become kings of Scotland. And her two daughters both would, would find notoriety in their own right. They would go on to lead great lives. But that's not why we call Margaret a saint. Margaret was a devout Christian, a devout Christian, a, a, a real churchgoer. But that's also not why we call her a saint. Even though she came to Scotland and, and brought with her some reforms and brought with her encouragement and brought with her through her husband uh, an empowerment of the Scottish church, even though she, she recognized the legitimacy and the beauty of the Celtic traditions in the Scottish church and brought with her the traditions from Rome. That's not why we call her a saint either. Why she's remembered as a saint is because much of her life as a Christian was devoted to the poor and to those in need. I mean, stories have it that, that she helped to secure the ransom of Scottish prisoners, that, that she helped people that were in prison. There's a story, I'm wearing a, a white rose on my, on my shirt. There's a story that her husband, Malcolm, realized she was spending so much money on feeding the poor that one day as she was on her way out of, out of her home, out of her castle, he asked her to open her coat because he was, he was terrified. She was carrying bags of silver to buy yet more bread for the poor. And when she opened her coat, it was, she actually was carrying a bunch of white roses, which is a flower that we use to remember her by. She gave herself to the poor and to all those in need. She literally, as a believer, as a follower of Christ, as a, as a worshiping Christian, as a real churchgoer, she actually believed what Jesus told us we should be doing. She, for everything that I've read, she really did attempt to live that passage in Matthew 25. Feed the poor, give drink to the thirsty, help the sick, be with the sick, visit the prisoners, Shelter, clothing to those in need. She did her best to alleviate the suffering of the people around her, despite the fact that that was not something she had to do. As queen, she was well off. She was protected. She was, she was respected just because of her position in life. And yet, she was bold enough and courageous enough to to be with those that nobody would have expected her to be with. 
to walk with those that nobody would have expected her to walk with. This prayer, this prayer today says, grant us a like devotion. Help us as Christians to be truly devoted to the teachings of Jesus Christ as she was. That whatever service you call us to, and we're all called to something maybe just a little bit different. That we may be agents of your justice and true servants of your mercy. However we are called, we know that our mission is to bring justice into the world. We know that it is part of our mission to be true servants. A servant being someone who follows the one who calls them. Someone who who follows a leader. Someone who follows the one that they are indebted to. Help us to be true servants, to do exactly as you ask us to do for others. Because if we can do this, if every single one of us chose to live a life like Margaret, I just can't see how the world would become a worse place. I can only imagine it growing to be a better place. That if all of us lived our lives like Margaret, taking what we have and offering it to those who have less, expecting and trusting that God would place in our lives somebody who has more that, and who are willing to give it to us to help take care of us. I cannot see how this world, I cannot see how this world could do anything except grow and become incredibly prosperous and abundant and peaceful. I can't imagine how the world would not become a more just an egalitarian place, I can't imagine how the world would not become more like the kingdom of God that we are all supposed to be watching for and working towards. Let's pray it again. Oh God, you gave your servant Margaret such faithfulness as Queen of Scotland that she cared for the poor and relieved the needs of those who lay in prison. Grant us a like devotion, whatever the service to which you call us, that we may be agents of your justice and true servants of your mercy. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord's face be made to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord's countenance be lifted up to you. May you always know the peace of being in the Lord's presence. And I pray that we would all receive a like devotion, a devotion like that of Margaret, that we would be bold enough and courageous enough and strong enough and charitable enough, and trusting enough that we would walk her path, that we would take what we have and offer it to those who have less. that we would take what we have, the abundance we have, and help others through times of sorrow and pain and suffering to help them live the life that we want to live. Amen. Numultus.